sugars are bad. Carbohydrates are sugars. Therefore, carbohydrates are bad. Like this. Okay. I'm serious. This is what I see every time. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wasn't a medical professional, honestly, I would also be scared. I'm not like, what should I eat? Don't eat, don't eat. So I want to ask you today, as a nutritionist, practicing nutritionist, please help me or help us. Number one, are carbohydrates bad? Should we now throw carbohydrates away? Please will help us. Okay. What should we know about carbohydrates? <laughs> okay, so um, carbohydrates are not bad, technically. However, the source can be pretty much be of concern. So, you know, the funny thing is, mm. we're saying it's your fruit and vegetables, but I hope you know that your fruit and vegetables are complex carbohydrates. So, if carbohydrates, mm -hmm. carbohydrates is one of the things that already have the worst PR on this head. Because everybody is saying mm. that carbohydrates is bad, carbohydrates is bad, carbohydrates is bad. But you are still saying, oh, take your fruit and vegetables. Take your, um, take your millet, take your, um, take your fiber. And as the case may be, but I hope you know that those things are complex carbohydrates. Okay, so we have um carbohydrates, we have the simple carbohydrate, we have the complex carbohydrate. So, yes, um technically the simple carbohydrates will spike up your blood sugar levels or raise your blood sugar levels. Um, yes, as a normal person. However, um, you need to understand this. Um, so I'm going to be talking to two separate individuals. So I'm going to be talking to people that do not have blood sugar concerns and people that have blood sugar concerns. So for people who do not have blood sugar concerns, um, even if you test your blood sugar after eating, there is no how it will still not go up. This is the body me metabolism. Mm -hmm. There's no how it will not go up. Your blood sugar... But then after two hours, then you see that the blood sugar levels has gone back to normal. And that's even why when you go to the hospital and they practice, and they, they do OGTT for you just because they want to check your blood sugar levels and the response after two hours. Yes. So if you eat and then your blood sugar level does still not show any kind of this thing, I should even be more concerned if there is no concern, if there is no movement or anything. So that is that. Okay, so um, as an individual... You need to understand that as you eat, irrespective, definitely there's going to be some um, shifts, um, increase and all of that in your blood sugar levels. However, you need to look at what you are eating. So we always say try as much as possible to eat complex carbohydrates because they have a fiber source. So you want to have things like mm. millet, you want to have things like acha, you want to even have things like your bakaliki rice, your ofada rice, your brown rice and all of that. So those are sources of, so those are definitely your sources of carbohydrates. So compared to your regular white rice, compared to maybe your basmati rice and all of that, which has, um, your, your which has been um processed and then all the external coating and all of that has been removed and it's just uh your polished rice and all of that. You want to try as much as possible to limit all of that. Um, things um if you have blood sugar concerns, you want to try as much as possible to um ensure that. Um, you also eat whole grains, so you want to have things like millet. You want to have things like um um what acha and all of that so um i have my measuring cup here with me to make it more easy as regards um um to make it more easy as regards demonstration and all of that so when um technically this is how your plate is supposed to be um you have your um so depending on your individual need also so i'm going to say someone i'm going to just assume for myself for example so if i'm supposed to eat mm -hmm. I'll, I'll think yeah. about let's say Two measuring cups of two measuring cups of a vegetable sauce. So vegetable is complex carbohydrates. So let's say my salad, for example, I have two measuring cups of salad, um, for the one cup, and then and I have one cup for my um one cup for let's say my rice, which is my simple carbs. So rice, simple carbs, um, and then one cup for my protein of choice. So that's that for proportion or how I'm going to eat my meal. So for carbohydrate, yes, you want to try as much as possible to look at the source of carbohydrate that you're consuming. Your fiber source um, should be like the bulk of your diet. This is because aside from the fact that they have lesser calories, um, they also contain bulk, which would help you stay fuller faster. They help in regulating your blood sugar levels. They help in um, your blood cholesterol mm. levels and all of that. So just please as much as possible trust to create a balance, ensure that you have a whole lot of, um, you have a whole lot of complex carbohydrates, 
into your diet, which is your vegetable sauce and all of that. Your things like your yam are also excellent sources of carbohydrates. Um, those are like your starchy veg. Um, so do you want to ensure that you have things like that? Um, your potatoes are also really great. So you can have yams, you can have potatoes and all of that. Just ensure that there is a balance. And this is why variety is important. So variety is not just food. Um, ex um, expand your taste buds or let your taste buds um explore, but it's also ensuring that there's a balance overall.